In Wisconsin, we don't say, want to get some ice cream. We say, want to get some custard. And there is a difference, and you might get a weird look if you call it ice cream. While the origins of frozen custard started in New York in 1919 by Archie and Elton Core, where they discovered that when you add egg yolks to ice cream, it created a creamier and smoother texture. Now fast forward to 1933. Wisconsin brought their frozen custard to the World's Fair in Chicago, thus starting the love obsession of frozen custard in the Midwest. All over Wisconsin, you will find countless frozen custard stands. Everyone has their favorite, and which one you choose will definitely cause a debate. Notable ones in Milwaukee are Leon's, Gillis's, Oscar's, and Cops. If you ask me, no one does it better than Cops, but to each his own. On to the recipe. One of my favorite flavors of custard has to be Blue Moon, and it just so happens that the flavor originates right here in Milwaukee. So let's check it out. First, you'll take two and a quarter cups of heavy cream, one cup of whole milk, three quarters cups of sugar, and a pinch of kosher salt. Now the flavor of Blue Moon ice cream is up for debate. Most recipes I researched only called for lemon and raspberry extracts, but I've always thought that there was an almost pistachio or almond flavor to it. So I added a teaspoon of almond extract along with a teaspoon of raspberry and lemon extracts. And I found that it worked perfectly and tastes identical to all the Blue Moon custard I've had over the years. So I highly recommend you add that almond extract. Combine all those ingredients in a medium saucepan and place over medium heat and stir occasionally until you reach a temperature of 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure not to boil or simmer to avoid scalding. While the mixture is heating up, take seven egg yolks and whisk until the color of the egg yolks has lightened a little bit. Once your milk mixture has reached 175 degrees, add the hot liquid a little at a time to the egg yolks while whisking at the same time to avoid curdling your eggs. This method is called tempering where you bring the temperature of your egg yolks slowly up to the temperature of your hot liquid to avoid scrambling your eggs. Yucky. You don't want that to happen. Otherwise, you will have ruined your custard and you will have become sad. And I don't want you to be sad. Only happy, blissful custard making experiences for you. Once the egg yolks have come up to temperature, return your now custard base to your saucepan and slowly heat the mixture until it starts to thicken while stirring constantly with a rubber spatula. When the custard has thickened, it should coat the back of a spoon. Swipe the back of the spoon to ensure it is not too runny. This is called nappé, referring to sauce consistency. Now for the blue moon aspect of the custard. Add about a teaspoon of blue food dye gel and mix to incorporate. Once the dye has been added, transfer to a bowl set inside another bowl filled with ice and let sit and stir occasionally until fully chilled. You can also just set this in your cooler wrapped with plastic wrap, but that will take overnight to cool completely. Now you will need an ice cream maker for this next step, so I have a KitchenAid attachment that I had in the freezer overnight. I then added my custard base to the mixer. Set on low for about 20 to 30 minutes to start the churning process. After churning for about 20 to 30 minutes, I then transferred the custard to a freezer safe container, specifically for ice cream, and placed in my freezer for a few hours. It is ideally best to let this rest in the freezer overnight, but I am impatient. So after chilling out in the freezer, scoop out your smooth and decadent frozen custard and enjoy. I was so happy with how the flavor and texture of this frozen custard had turned out it was just like pulling up to cops for a couple of scoops. I will always say that frozen custard is the superior form of ice cream and will beat out any of the competition. Cops does sell their custard online and ships throughout America. So go check them out if you're not in the Milwaukee area. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and check out all of my social media pages. So, wanna go get some custard?